happy Thursday. So today's video is just about being tired. I'm so tired all the time. It sucks. And I'm not even in like any kind of rigorous school. So I can't even actually. Okay. I genuinely believe that if I can get into vet school, it's going to be so much easier. Not easier, but less tiring than it is now. I do so much to try, I guess, to just build up my, my resume, my experience, da, da 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 to the point to where, like, I'm freaking tired. Like, like currently. So this is where I'm at currently. I only work 30 hours a week, which is awesome. I go to work 8 to 2.30. I wake up at 6 a.m. Because that's when Jordan wakes up. And then we got to take care of all the animals. Got to make my breakfast because I'm meal prep because I can't be turned into a fatty. And thankfully, work's only about four minutes away, which is actually pretty awesome. But outside of work, I now, so I'm taking a class at Radford, 30 minute drive. That's Monday and Wednesday. Um, I'm also starting to volunteer at the, at the zoo, which is an hour away. Um, so that's kind of just random things thrown in here and there. I'm trying super hard to get to the gym at least five days a week. Um, I'm going to start shadowing here soon. I've actually gotten in touch with one of the vets at Virginia Tech um, who's going to let me, for now, just go on emergency ride-alongs, which means... What are you eating? Which means that those are probably going to be at pretty odd hours. Um, and then there's also another vet that doesn't close until 8 p.m., so they're going to also let me shadow. Um, so I'm going to be... Ha and then homework's starting up this week. And I'm just tired, man. Like, I'm tired. And I think that that is a pretty good indication, though, that I'm I'm kind of doing things right. Um, I don't know. I'm tired. That's like, that's really all I can say. And so if you're, you know, if you're wanting to get into vet school and you're not doing... In my opinion, everything that you can, then you need to be. Because that's such a big part of it. It's just like, especially if you're a full-time student. You know, most people do undergrad, know they want to be a vet, you know, their freshman year. Maybe, you know, halfway through. So I, I mean, granted, most people who are full-time in school also aren't working, you know, 30, 40 hours a week. So I feel like my work on top of my school kind of equates to full-time student feeling. Um, but if you have time to spare, man, you better be filling it with stuff that, that amps up your application. Um, I mean, stupid things. Just, I mean, anything you can be doing, go to your local animal shelter, volunteer. Thankfully, you know, well, one thing with me is I do live in now a, t a tiny little town that doesn't have much in it. So if I want to do anything that's kind of extracurricular, um, I have to go and seek it. So that's one thing that does kind of suck about being here is all the driving I have to do. Um, and none of it is in the town. It's all out of the town. Um, but for me, like, it's a good feeling. It really is. At the end of the day, when I get in bed, Jordan and I, we have this thing where every single night we watch an episode of Gotham. Sometimes two if they leave you on a really, like, crazy cliffhanger. But when I sit there, and Gotham's good. If y'all have never seen Gotham, watch it. Like, it's awesome. Um, and if there's a day where, like, halfway through, I'm like, that was a good day. Like, I put in some work. And it's a really good feeling knowing that I'm doing everything in my power to become a veterinarian. And the, to me, those are the people who are going to get it. Like, without a doubt. And I'm not trying to be cocky. Like, I may not get in my first round, but I'm going to be a vet one day. Whether, you know, I got whether I get denied... You know, my first year of application. Bo Sorry, my Bo. He's a little pig I have. He's three months old. He's crazy right now. Bo, what are you doing? I can hear him, but I can't see him. Bo, God, what are you doing? He stopped. <laughs> um, but I, I will be a vet. And thankfully, I love my job right now. I love it. Um, what are you 
you doing? Um, so even if I didn't get in to vet school this first round, I don't care because my job is sweet. I love it. Today, I got to, um, as I was leaving work, um, I get off work at 2.30, and there was a fourth year um, lab that was about to ensue. Um, it was a, a mare palpation lab. And I was like, can I watch? I'll stand in the back. Like, you know, it was outside. It was it was in my workspace. So really, I mean, I got, I got pretty lucky to be able to watch that. So it was pretty cool. I sat there. I learned how to tie a horse's tail up, um, you know, and, and how they drape it to where it doesn't get in the way. And basically, it was a rectal palpation. They got on the big sleeve thing, lubed up their arm, and... Um, and I learned, I mean, just listening. I mean, obviously I didn't get to like do it, but like, like you can feel a lot in a horse through its rectum. Like they were talking about being able to feel like the spleen and the liver, um, the, uh, aorta, um, what was one? she was talking about like going around the clock and feeling it. And it's just like, I want that. I want that so bad. And the, the, the vet. She didn't know I wanted to be a vet. She was like, why does this interest you? And I was like, I want to be. I want to be you. <laughs> and, um, and she's real cool. She's a young vet. Um, and she's doing an internship right now with our equine field service office. So whenever we have an issue with the horse, she comes out. And um, just trying to get to know the right people, man. So, yeah, so I got to sit in on that. And that was, like, super interesting. Sorry. Bo, stop. Come here. Um, yeah. But I'm tired. And I'm about to go to the gym. And I gotta, like, th it's the things like that. Like, one of the interview questions that um, I've read is, what are you going to do to keep yourself from burning out? Now, me, I don't have a social life, really. I don't, I'm not a very social person. I'm an extrovert, but I don't, I'm not a big people person. So I like, I don't go out. I don't, I don't do much. So for me, my escape is the gym. My escape is going out and hiking and doing things like that. And, you know, and so that's what you got to do to make sure that you're not going crazy. But man, there's some days I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't. But you gotta, you gotta, so... Anyways, so I guess that's like the moral of my videos. You better be wearing yourself out. So, anyways. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, weather's kind of being nice, which is good. Um, I don't know. So, if there's anything, too, if you guys want to talk about, definitely put in the comments. Because I'm just kind of, you know, as I go on, like I've said, just as I go throughout my week or whatever, if something comes up that makes me think about a video... You know, I just make it real fast. Um, I do this on the fly. One take, obviously. You see me screaming at my pig. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And we will talk to you later.